Good morning. This is Amelia Rhodes. I don't have a cell signal, so I can't do this live today, so I'm going to record it and post it later. But I've taken some time to hike out to one of my favorite places this morning along the North Country National Scenic Trail. It's a 4,600 mile long trail that spans from North Dakota to New York. And for years, I had lived in town and didn't realize this beautiful trail was just minutes from my doorstep. And I remember when I first discovered this particular location, I wondered why I had never taken the time to explore this beautiful path and get to know it before. And so I'm going to show you a few of my favorite scenes and I want to talk to you about the optimal location for this trail and how it relates to the optimal location that God has planned for our lives. Over the past year I've learned a little bit about how these trails are developed and how they choose the routes that they do. All of the national scenic trails like the Pacific Crest Trail and the Appalachian Trail and the North Country Trail go through a process called the Optimal Location Review. And what that means is the federal partners, in our case, the National Park Service for the North Country Trail, uh, the associated nonprofits and the locations that the trails go through, they all determine what is the best route that we can create for the trail. What is the most scenic, most beautiful place we can find to put the trail through? And notice I didn't say the easiest route because the most beautiful, scenic, optimal route for the trail is often hard to get to, out of the way. It's a place that you wouldn't normally go to, an experience that you might not otherwise have if this optimal route hadn't been planned. And that means something similar for our life. You see, God has planned this optimal location for the route of our life. It's not always the easiest route, the easiest path through life, but it's the most rewarding, the most beautiful, the most scenic, and definitely worth the effort that it takes to get there. See, God laid out in the Bible a plan for our lives. The psalmist said in Psalm 1611, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. You see, God has marked out an optimal location for the path of our life through the Bible and through the example of Jesus. He does not hide it from us, but that does not mean it won't be hard to follow because our human nature always wants to follow the path of least resistance, but that path doesn't have the reward that the path that God's design does. You see, Jesus said we are to love our enemies, bless those that persecute you, forgive as he forgave, and live generously. That's the path that he's marked out for us. It's the optimal route for our lives, but it is definitely not the easiest, but it is the most rewarding path that we could follow. So I urge you today to read Psalm 16 and see what the psalmist had to say about this beautiful path of life that God has marked out for us. And if your path is currently involving challenging, hard climbs that are strenuous and you wonder if you can make it through it, hang in there. And remember that the easiest path is often the one that offers the least amount of reward. That living the way that God has designed for us to live is worth it, even though it might be hard. So get out this weekend and enjoy the scenery that God has placed around you and the challenges that you're facing. Stick with it and hang in there. And remember that God is offering us eternal pleasures at his right hand. And we have the, the opportunity to enjoy his presence.